What is up, everybody? It is Wick here. We got some things that I've sold on eBay. Then we're going thrifting, sourcing, looking for items to flip on eBay and Amazon, Macari, wherever. First thing I got here is this pet safe pet containment transmitter. I picked this up at a rubbish sale for $10 and I got $67 for it. Next, I got this Gene Belcher from Bob's Burgers pop figure. Got this for $2 at a yard sale and I sold it for $55. Here I have a youth baseball glove I picked up at a thrift store for $2. I got $27.05 for it. I sold two sets of two of these respirator masks. Uh, I sold them for $45. Next, I sold this Fagor pressure cooker I picked up at a yard sale for $15. Sold it for $45 plus shipping for a total of $77.89. This person paid $28.25 to have this shipped. Next, we have a conduit bending level. Paid $7 for this. Sold it for $20. Then finally, I got this Panda wireless network adapter. Paid $2 for this at Goodwill, and I sold it for $20. I am in the first thrift store of the day, a Goodwill, and we're looking for some stuff we can flip here. And I'm not seeing anything yet, but we're early in the day. There's a camera, tripod, the Velbon. That brand has some decent models that can sell. This one was not decent, so we didn't pick it up. Was it really selling? Was it really any money to be made? And we got a crock pot there. Rival, a newer one. That's something you see all the time at Goodwills and thrift stores, garage sales, or crock pots. Uh, people get them for gifts, especially when they get married or move or something like that. There's actually some decent money in some of them, especially the older vintage ones, certain styles. You can sell the lids, part, part them out. Always good money in that. And here's a little filter I've found. I've sold these before on um, Amazon. And the problem with these is you can open them. They're not actually like sealed or anything. So you never know if someone just put their old filter in there. Uh, it looked like it was probably new. There's only like three or $4 to be made on Amazon. So I just decided to put it back. And something you gotta watch out at thrift stores. People just buy items and they put the old one in the box and they donate it. I don't know why, it's just what they do. Spot something back here, this $5,000 Glory McDonald's uh, Beanie Baby. <laughs> Talked about those in the video. I uh, found a bunch of them at Goodwill. And some of the, the sole comps were showing up to $5,000. Those are not accurate. I'm still not sure why they do that. I guess just to hype them up and make people think they're worth more. Uh, I've heard money laundering, so who knows. Over here in the toys now, I see this Laser X game. I actually picked this up at a thrift store recently for 50 cents. $3.99, the box was a little beat up and it seemed like it was missing some parts. Uh, you know, I think the one I bought for 50 cents, I'm only making $15, $20 on it anyway. So I just decided to leave that. Game of Thrones game, pretty interesting, but unfortunately just not worth reselling. Pre-owned like that, $3.99 was the price. Good for somebody who wants the game though, as long as all the pieces were in there. Not spotting anything else yet. The toy quantity in this Goodwill has been going down and down. It used to be super packed. Uh, it's just that time of year. Goodwills are not as stocked as they usually are in the winter. I find August to be a very bad month for thrifting. I think other people are going to garage sales. I think they're selling their stuff there. There's a horse, not Briar, unfortunately. Some dolls, some you know, just children's toys. But I did find a game, The Simpsons Monopoly was there, and I picked up these Hunter rubber boots. They are new. Uh, $5 was all they are. And something else in there I'll show at the end of the video. As always, I go over everything I buy at the end of the video. Not everything I buy are in these videos here where I'm recording, because I don't record every single Goodwill, every single aisle I'm looking in, or everything I'm buying at the time. So they'll be in the hall. Here we got some electronics, and this Goodwill price is electronics fairly high. We guess it got some basic DVD players. There's a tote of remotes. I love to see that. You know, some good money in certain remotes. 
Unfortunately, I did go through all those, and there's just nothing in there for me. Uh, up here, we got this Panasonic phone, and here's a good example of what I was talking about earlier. It was not the phone that was in there. It was an old VTech phone. Otherwise, that'd be an $80 phone on Amazon pre-owned. I did put this little, what was it? I think GPX or GE, I think it was, uh, tape recorder in there, vintage. Uh, there's a little bit of money in that if they work. Some irons, there's some good money in certain irons. Uh, not those. Uh, small appliances, more crock pots down there, I see. And here's a little box of random stuff. Been a long time since I come across the Guitar Hero dongle. I used to find those all the time in Goodwill in those little baskets like that of random cords and be flipping them for about 50 to $60 on Amazon at the time. Just don't come across them much anymore. Looking in the media, what's in here? Anything cool? Uh, some eight tracks, $12.99 it looks like for all of them. And I looked up a few of them, uh, some of the more interesting looking ones. It didn't seem like they're going to be worth picking up. Uh, not like the one I picked up, the Kiss 8-track, the rare one, worth about two or $300. I picked up at a garage sale for a quarter this past year. Uh, nothing like that in there that I noticed anyway. Toys at this Goodwill now. Uh, there's a bag of random toys. Always got to check. There could be a $40, $50 toy in there. Uh, actually, there was one in a bag like that recently that I, I passed up, a Sonic Toys. Some people let me know. Uh, there's a Polly Pocket cruise ship. I put that in the cart. I wasn't sure how old it was. It was one of the newer ones. I looked it up. Just not worth selling. There's one of those Nerf Vulcan guns. I actually got one of those complete in great condition with the chain I, I need to sell. $4.99 for the sealed Trivial Pursuit game. Put that in the cart. Uh, but yeah, the Nerf gun just in that condition at $12.99. I didn't want to mess with that. Especially when I got some Nerf guns I need to sell. Uh, that would bring me better money than that. And I did pick up another game there, I think. And there's also a Polly Pocket toy, another one. In the package, it had been opened, but I ended up leaving that. Again, it wasn't worth picking up. Here is an M&M Nutcracker uh, dispenser for $4.99. And yeah, that's worth picking up because, you know what? You can make some money. There's the other game. It was a Glee Cranium sealed. Uh, yeah, the Nutcrackers are good to pick up because... They sell great around Christmas. Get some decent money. Where are we at now? Another Goodwill, it looks like. And we're just looking to see if we can spot any good deals. There's a JVC DVD VCR combo at first. I thought it was the high-end recorder that I've been looking for. Anytime I see those, I pick them up because they're worth three to $400. This is just a combo unit. Again, no remote. I actually picked up the same unit recently at, a, at an estate sale. I did grab that though. I was debating it because they're not, like I said, you know, without the remote, it's like a $50 sale. Got to test them and deal with all that. I don't even remember exactly what I paid for it. Seems like about $7.99 or something like that. But yeah, I did grab that. And at this Goodwill, we got some more electronics, some VCRs. And I uh, forget why I didn't pick up that one. There was a reason. Uh, that one was missing the door. I know why I didn't pick up that one. Uh, Sony unit there got some cool looking speakers up there but you know what based on the prices condition and just the comps it was not worth picking up look at all those crock pots that's like <laughs> half a shelf there of crock pots alone uh, I should pay more attention to them maybe get them cheap enough and flip some of the lids some of the lids can sell for 30 40 dollars some of the ceramic inserts the same here's another bag of toys looks like some uh, just kind of some cheap figures. Look like maybe a Marvel figure in there. Uh, let's see if I spot anything else. There's one of those like Barbie doll, like manicure hair, like things. <laughs> I guess you comb their hair and do their hair up. Uh, some of those can be okay. I could have looked it up. Uh, maybe I did. I don't remember. This footage is from a few weeks ago. Just trying to catch up on some of these thrifting videos. But I did find enough today to make some good profit. Let me show you everything I picked up. It's that time to go over what I picked up today and some pretty good stuff. This isn't all of it. I'll put the rest on the table after I go through this since I probably don't have room for everything. At Salvation Army, I paid up for these shoes. I've never heard of this brand, I don't think. I kind of remember selling it. 20 bucks is what I paid for them. Olukai, I looked up 
the the comps on eBay for these and knew they were selling for about $70, $80. And these are new. They're just missing the tags. They've never been worn. They're super clean. At first, I decided I was just going to wait and buy them when they're half off, probably next week when the color changes. But you know what? I can probably make $40 on these. So you know what? Just pay the $20 to make $40. I don't know how fast they move or anything like that because I'm not too familiar with the brand. But you know, I went ahead and bought them. I've got this Kodak paper here. I paid $0.69 cents for it. And I'll make about $20 selling it on Amazon FBA. And I stopped in Lowe's to look for some clearance. And I found this battery, $12.47. And it's marked down from $46. I should make about $15 profit selling this on eBay. It's unfortunate because they had four in stock. They just couldn't find them. Uh, I was helping them looking through the shelves, the racks, and just couldn't find them. Then I picked up this lucky bamboo plant so I have something to talk to while I do my listing. That's normal, right? At Goodwill for $5, I picked up these Hunter rubber boots. Looked up the comps on these, and uh, yeah, they're great. Only paid $5 for them, and it looks like they're selling for about $45, $55. And these are brand new as well. I still got the stickers down in the bottom, if you can see there. Uh, never worn. Stickers on the bottom. Very clean. Going to take kind of a long box, though, to ship them, but that's okay. We'll make some good money. Filter is $1.99. I'll make $8 profit selling them on Amazon. Sold these many times. They seem to show up in thrift stores all the time. Then I picked up this GE Walkman, and hopefully it works. Probably not. They usually don't. Looks like it has like a little where you plug it in to give it power. That's kind of interesting. $2.99. If this was a Sony model like this, it'd probably be about a hundred bucks. Some of those Sonys go for hundreds, and it's been a long time since I found a really nice vintage Sony one. Of course, there's a lot of Sony Sony models that don't even sell for near that much. The model they use in Guardians of the Galaxy is probably the best one to find. But yeah, if this works, I think I can actually get thirty dollars for it uh, just because of the vintage style. I picked up these blaster boards and just decided to take a risk on them. Uh, I think they're just like these things you use to build forts with and comps they were selling for about $30, $40 a box. I figured I paid $3.99. I'll just go ahead and bundle both of them together and sell them at a discounted price and eventually they should sell and I should make some profit. And then down here we got this JVC combo unit. I saw this and I thought, wow, hopefully this is the recorder version that's worth four or $500. It is not. This is actually one I found a couple of weeks ago. I found it in a state sale, thought the same thing. And it's not a great model. It's missing the remote. You know, on eBay, I'm going to be selling it. It's not even on Amazon. So, you know, I'll sell it for about $50. And next, we got some board games and some toys. Trivial Pursuit, I think I'll make about $15 profit in the end on Amazon. Brand new sealed. This Cranium Glee Edition, $4.99 sealed. Uh, selling in the 30s on Amazon. So going to make some profit on that. This game right here was very interesting. It's on Amazon uh, with a pretty decent rank, 300 and some thousand. New seller in at $130, and that's not an FBA seller. So, you know, I think I'll send this in and price it about $125 and see if it sells. Even the collectibles are selling in the 60s, and I notice on eBay there's one for $70 new. So, that's a good sign that those comps are correct. They're not super inflated. 100% confident I can sell this between $100 and $130. And I picked up the Simpsons Monopoly uh, $2.99. I'll make about $15 on this. It looks like some of the pieces are still sealed in there. It's in very good condition, so I went ahead and picked it up. This Nutcracker M&M dispenser, I bought these in the past, new and used, and they've sold great on Amazon. However, now this is in grocery category. So I can't sell anything used in grocery. Obviously, they don't allow you to sell used groceries. It's in the grocery category because it comes with M&Ms originally. Uh, this has been open. The M&Ms are gone. Uh, but I can still sell this on eBay. It's looking like $25, $30. Bucks, and it'll definitely move, especially at Christmas time. Did pay $4.99 for it. Then finally, I just picked up this read-along Disney uh, Lady and the Tramp seal cassette and book. $1.99. It looks like some comps pre-owned was selling for about $15. So you know what? I'll probably price this about 25, 30 bucks sealed and just let it sit. So for everything on this table, I'll throw an estimate of how much I expect to make on this stuff. Should be some incredible profits. That's going to do it for the video, everybody. I really want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button for me on the way out, please. I do really appreciate you watching. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, flipping underscore junk. This has been Wick and Lucky Bamboo. Until next time.